Oh my god, I am so tired. I haven't had any coffee yet, and it's the afternoon. So I'm gonna get some of that in me, and I'll be right back. Okay, so this week we're talking about the crap on our walls and how it defines us. And I have a lot of stuff on my walls. So let's look around. Behind me, you'll notice, there's a tiny little painting. That tiny little painting says, I desperately want to be an abstract artist. Over here we have pictures of me and my son and my husband and some friends and family. Over here, we have a film snippet thing, cell, film cell from the Dark Crystal, and also fly swatter because in the springtime, sometimes I like to open the door to my apartment to let the fresh air in, and flies come in, and flies are awful things, and so I hit them with a fly spot. Let's look around at some other stuff. Right here, we have a painting that has followed me all around the world. It's by one of my closest friends, oldest friends, dearest friends, and she gave it to me when I left to move to North Carolina, and it's followed me everywhere. It's been to Korea and England, and it's usually sat in my kitchen. I usually hang it up in there, but now it's hanging right outside. Here we have a gigantic painting that the only reason it has survived is because I don't have anything to paint over it. Behind it is my circuit breaker. I think that's hideous. So I covered it with this slightly less hideous gigantic painting of a fairy. And you notice that there's like two figures and that was for a rewrite of Romeo and Juliet. I wrote and directed and I apologize so much to William Shakespeare because I don't think I can write better than you and that skit was only supposed to be 30 seconds long. I'm done with that explanation. Behind me is a painting of a fairy. I've uh, studied fairies for like 10 years. I'm a master of useless knowledge about like fairy mythology. I've had a lot of caffeine in me now. Um, I took a design class and we were supposed to do textures and just we hung her up because I didn't want to throw it away. You know how it goes, right? This painting is me trying to be much darker than I typically am. Kind of a I'm kind of a generally a happy person, even though I'm pretty like sarcastic about everything. Much less aesthetically damaging is this watercolor I did. There's not really a whole lot to say about it. It's a watercolor. This is from Kyrgyzstan. I have a She-Ra picture over here. She's on the swift wind. Okay. This is a limited edition like, print uh, by John Lennon from the Horn Museum in Las Vegas. I hang it up in my room so I don't have to explain it to my parents when they come to visit. This fan for a vacation I didn't go on. So that's the stuff I have hanging up on the walls of my domicile. And uh, I don't know what it says about me. I don't know what it says about me that there's artwork that I don't hang out in the like general visiting area. Do you guys have any artwork that you kind of like sneak away so you don't have to explain it to your family and friends who visit? Or am I alone in this? Anyways, let me know in the comment section down below. And check me out on this channel on Thursdays on Makeshift Broadcasts, uh, Mondays. And let me know if you think I should be hanging my John Lennon picture in the living room where everyone can see it. Because I'm not embarrassed by it. I just... I don't want to show my mom and dad a picture of John Lennon, you know. Yoko Ono, I don't know. Man, it is a sunny day out. Let's stop looking at my walls and go do something.